Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance and use of statistical methods in quantitative research. Um, so there is far too much to go over when it comes to statistical analysis, when it comes to specific procedures. Um, so that is not what I'm going to talk about here. Here, I just want to explain uh, why statistical analysis is important and how we use it in research. Um, so when we talk about statistical analysis, we are referring to the collection of data, organization of data, and then how we analyze and interpret data, and then finally how we present that data. Um, so it includes many steps of our quantitative research process. So it's important that um, when you're doing research that you be familiar with statistical analysis and that you be using it to guide your research design from the very beginning. Um, so when you have an idea of what kind of data you plan to collect to answer your research questions, it's important to make a plan for your statistical analysis also. Um, so your statistical analysis should guide um, your data collection and your plan for the analysis after you've collected those data. Um, it's your statistical analysis is required to be able to conduct effective research, at least quantitative research. Um, so you must be able to apply statistical analysis to uh, be able to interpret the data and to be able to generalize your findings to a broader population. Uh, it's also necessary and very helpful if you are just a consumer of research. So even if you're not conducting the research yourself, but if you are reading the literature, um, as you should be if you are a clinician or other type of professional, you, it is advisable to be uh, looking to the research studies that are being conducted in your area. Um, and it's hard to understand their methodology uh, maybe not the methodology as much, but it's hard to understand how they're drawing their conclusions um, if you're not familiar with an understanding of their statistical analysis that they applied. Um, and you can't really critically appraise a study if you don't understand how they conducted that study or how they uh, did their analysis to draw their conclusions. Um, and then importantly, statistical analysis allows researchers to use a sample to draw conclusions about the larger population. So without statistical analysis, we would have to, to conduct our study with everyone in a population to be able to make any kind of claim or statement about that population. But thanks to statistical analysis, we can draw a smaller sample, you know, a smaller group from a bigger population and then draw conclusions about that whole population um, because we have confidence in our statistical analysis. Okay, so the way we use statistics, we use them to make sense of data and to present the results. Uh, we use numerical data to draw conclusions. So again, we can apply statistical analysis to our numerical quantitative data and draw conclusions about the broader population uh, that our sample came from. Uh, we can also use statistics to monitor patterns and make predictions, which can be extremely useful in different situations. And we use statistics to guide decision-making. Um, so that's especially true in clinical decision-making, um, having, research that quantitative research that uh, of course statistical analysis has been applied to these studies um, helps us guide our clinical decision making because we can see whether a treatment was effective or not effective or how effective was it or how many uh, did it help in this sample. Um, and so we can use that to guide our own clinical decision making and that really is what evidence informed practice is or evidence based medicine there are lots of terms for the same idea. Uh, but without statistical analysis, there really wouldn't be much evidence informed practice because we wouldn't be able to uh, make the assumption that the conclusions that were drawn um, in a study that we're reading would necessarily apply to our patient um, without the use of statistical analysis. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.